7 Fascinating Facts About the Epic of Gilgamesh, Sumerian Mythology The Epic of Gilgamesh, a Sumerian epic poem composed more than 4,000 years ago, is the oldest known literary work. Have you ever wondered about the origins of literature and mythology? Where did it all begin? Found in the 19th century on tablets rescued from the ruins of the Library of Nineveh, founded by Ashurbanipal in the 7th century BC, it fascinated scholars from the time it was first translated, especially because it contained the narrative of a universal flood, remarkably similar to the one that later appeared in the Genesis of the Bible. So many questions, yet the answers lie in the heart of ancient Mesopotamia, in the cradle of civilization. Likewise, the two great epic poems of world literature, the Iliad and the Odyssey, attributed to Homer and written more than a millennium after the Epic of Gilgamesh, seem to have been inspired by the Sumerian poem. Here, over 4,000 years ago, a tale was etched in clay, the Epic of Gilgamesh, a narrative that transcends time and continues to captivate us with its profound themes and vivid characters. Who was this Gilgamesh who has been compared to Odysseus of Ithaca? What were the adventures he lived in search of the immortality he longed for that so closely resembles the flood of the Epic and the Biblical flood? In this video, you will find the answers to these and many other questions about the fascinating Epic of Gilgamesh. As we embark on this journey, we unravel not just stories, but the hopes, fears, and aspirations of an ancient people, mirroring our own in surprising ways. So, buckle up, history enthusiasts, because we're about to dive into the fascinating and ancient world of the Epic of Gilgamesh and Sumerian mythology. Before we dive deep into this fascinating story, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. The Epic of Gilgamesh isn't just an ancient story, it's a groundbreaking piece of human history. It stands as a testament to the ingenuity and creativity of our early ancestors. Etched on clay tablets over 4,000 years ago in ancient Mesopotamia, the Epic of Gilgamesh is considered the first major work of world literature. Before the tales of Hercules, before the sagas of Beowulf, and centuries before Homer would spin his tales of the Iliad and the Odyssey, there was Gilgamesh, a story filled with adventure, friendship, and the eternal human quest for immortality. It was a narrative that set the stage for all the epic tales to come. So, when we talk about the world's first piece of literature, we're not just talking about the first story ever told, we're talking about the very cornerstone of our literary tradition. This epic poem predates Homer's Iliad and Odyssey by centuries. In the heart of this epic, there's a surprising friendship that teaches us about humility and companionship. Meet Enkidu, a wild man created by the gods as a mirror to the mighty king Gilgamesh. Unlike the lone heroes of other ancient tales, Gilgamesh is not alone in his adventures. His counterpart, Enkidu, is his equal in strength and courage. They start as rivals, but after an intense battle, they recognize each other's valor and become the best of friends. Their bond is so strong that they embark on dangerous quests together, facing mythical beasts and challenging the gods. Yet, their friendship is not just about shared adventures. Enkidu, with his wild and untainted perspective, teaches Gilgamesh, the proud and sometimes tyrannical king, the values of compassion, loyalty, and humility. This transformative friendship shapes Gilgamesh into a wiser ruler. Enkidu, created as an equal to Gilgamesh, becomes an inseparable companion, showing us the power of friendship. Of the Epic of Gilgamesh is more than just a hero's journey, it's a quest for the eternal. Following the death of his dear friend Enkidu, Gilgamesh is struck by the reality of mortality and embarks on a journey to discover the secret of eternal life. His quest takes him to the ends of the earth through trials and tribulations as he seeks answers to life's most profound question. He encounters ancient beings, faces monstrous creatures, and even journeys to the underworld, all in his pursuit of immortality. Yet despite his heroic efforts, Gilgamesh learns that eternal life is not meant for mortals. The epic teaches us that while we cannot escape death, we can aspire to live a life of significance, a life that leaves a lasting legacy. The search for eternal life, a theme that resonates with human experience across ages, is at the heart of this timeless epic. One of the most astonishing parts of the epic is its account of a universal flood. This cataclysmic event, recounted in the 11th tablet of the epic, narrates the story of Utnapishtim, who was commanded by the god Enki to build a large ship in preparation for a divine deluge destined to wipe out all life. Strikingly similar, isn't it? If you're thinking about Noah's Ark from the Bible, you're not alone. The parallels are uncanny. 
from the divine warning to the detailed instructions for the boat's construction, right down to the release of birds to find land after the flood. These shared narratives have piqued the interest of scholars and historians alike. They've been scratching their heads, trying to figure out if these stories share a common origin, or if they're independent accounts of a similar event. This parallel has led scholars to explore connections between ancient traditions. The Epic of Gilgamesh is not a myth passed down orally, but a tangible piece of history. This ancient epic doesn't merely exist in the realm of stories and legends, but it's grounded in reality through the existence of real artifacts. Archaeologists have unearthed cuneiform tablets dating back over 4,000 years, inscribed with the tales of Gilgamesh's adventures. These tablets are not simply historical artifacts, they are direct links to our past, like time capsules carrying the wisdom and experiences of a civilization from the dawn of history. They reveal to us the first recorded epic narrative, etched in clay by an unknown scribe, echoing the voices of the ancients. Thanks to these artifacts, linguists and archaeologists can study the Epic of Gilgamesh in its original form, deciphering its enigmatic cuneiform script to unravel the mysteries of the past. The existence of cuneiform tablets allows archaeologists and linguists to study the texts directly. The impact of the Epic of Gilgamesh transcends time. This ancient text etched onto clay tablets more than 4,000 years ago has left an indelible mark on the tapestry of modern literature, film, and art. Works across various mediums continue to echo its timeless themes and narratives. From the friendship between Gilgamesh and Enkidu, we discern the value of companionship and the transformative power of camaraderie. This theme is reflected in countless contemporary narratives that celebrate the bond of friendship. The quest for life's meaning, represented by Gilgamesh's search for immortality, reverberates through the ages. It's a universal journey, one that resonates with every individual seeking to understand their place in the world. Finally, the epic's exploration of mortality, accepting the inevitability of death, and the pursuit of a well-lived life, has been a recurring motif in literary and cinematic works. Its themes of friendship, the quest for life's meaning and acceptance of mortality continue to resonate with us today. Beyond its literary value, the Epic of Gilgamesh offers a unique window into the past. The Epic doesn't just spin a tale of heroes and gods, it paints a vivid picture of Sumerian life over 4,000 years ago. From the tablets, we can glean nuggets of information about their society, from the grandeur of their cities to the intricacies of their religious beliefs. The Epic gives us a glimpse of their social hierarchy, revealing a society where kings and priests wielded considerable power. It also reflects their connection with nature, their agricultural practices, and their reverence for the gods and goddesses who they believed controlled the elements. The Epic of Gilgamesh also provides insight into their moral codes, their understanding of friendship, loyalty, and the transient nature of life. Through the Epic, we gain a deep understanding of one of humanity's earliest civilizations. The Epic of Gilgamesh is more than an ancient piece of literature. It's a journey through time revealing the world's first major work of literature, a hero's quest for immortality, and a glimpse into ancient Sumerian life. Its influence pervades modern culture, with themes that continue to inspire. This tangible relic of human history inscribed on clay tablets echoes with the universal human experiences of camaraderie, longing for the eternal and acceptance of our mortality. It's a testament to the human longings, fears, and aspirations that still resonate with us today. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the epic of Gilgamesh and ancient Sumerian life. If you've enjoyed this exploration and want to dive deeper into the annals of history and mythology, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with fellow history enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel. We'd love to hear your thoughts, interpretations, or any questions you might have about this epic. So don't hesitate to drop a comment below. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights into history and mythology. Remember every like, share, and subscription helps us bring more of this enriching content to you. Until next time.